back to my channel. My name is Atiyah. You can call me Tia or Sunny, whichever one you like. And I am back with another video. So today I'm giving you guys my soft glam makeup look. So I've seen this like trend going around on Instagram and on YouTube. So I was like, soft glam who? I feel like soft glam's been in and it's just now coming back around and being trendy again. But Sauce Glam been in, all right? And yeah. Also, I have a new lens on my camera. How do you like this quality? Am I looking like I'm in your bedroom or in your living room or wherever you're watching me right now? Like, how's she looking? But yeah, I'm not gonna make this intro too lengthy. Let's just go ahead and get into this look. You see my words? Like what? All right, so first things first, you know, I like to prime my face. So I'm going to use two different primers. I typically you just use a hydrating primer and a blurring primer. So the hydrating primer that I'm taking today is from Makeup Forever. This primer is definitely a fave now. I got it a couple, probably last week, and I have not put it down. I just love hydrating primers because they make your skin look very dewy and very um, skin-like. And people are like, I don't know why soft glam <laughs> became a trend again because like soft glam been in. When you think of soft glam, you think about like flawless, very natural, but not natural. You know what I mean? And I be giving that all the time, so. Yeah. Then you know we gotta blur everything out. So I just take a pump of this Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer and smooth this onto my face, especially under my eyes and anywhere where I crease up. So like right here, I definitely gotta put that primer there. I don't know, I do five or six pumps of the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation. This foundation is like, it's such a holy grail of mine because it always comes through in the winter time for me. I wish I had a foundation in NARS in the summertime. I have to find one because I love this foundation so much. But yeah, I'm just gonna pounce this all over my face with my Sonya Kashuk sponge and just get a nice full coverage look. The key to having a nice base is one, to use good primers that work well with your skin type, and two, you want to go over your face more than once. If you haven't seen my foundation routine, then I suggest that you go watch it because that's where I gave you guys a lot of tips on how I create a natural skin-like foundation but still having that coverage there. For concealer, I like to take the Fenty Beauty Concealer first because this one gives me a lot of coverage and I just use a little bit of that. And I put it in all of the areas I wanna highlight, which are just in this region. I don't highlight my chin anymore because I felt like when I highlighted my chin, it just looked like I didn't know what I was doing and I ain't like that. So <sighs> I stopped doing that. And it just didn't look good in pictures to me. Oh, and now I'm taking the Makeup Forever Concealer. This is their HD concealer. Everything will be listed in the description box below. So why should I talk fast? I'm gonna try to start talking slower. Or y'all could just catch up. You know, either one. But uh, yeah, I'll leave everything in the description box below. <laughs> you see how the natural radiant foundation it just gives you a nice glow and with the hydrating primer underneath it just gives you a nice glow so if you want to just do it like this but i crease up like crazy under my eyes so I definitely cannot leave my face like this. But to combat the powderiness of the setting powder, I just do some more sprays of my Dewy Setting Spray and that helps a lot, a lot. Now that my base is almost done, I just have to set my face now. 
and I like to take two different setting powders because one is too I feel like it's too light for me and the other one is too yellow so I just mix the two and they are it's the perfect combination <music> extra love on my eyelids because yeah uh, hooded eyes you know the struggle let me wipe some of this away and then for my contour I'm gonna take this Dior backstage palette first I like to take this shade right here this one is way too red for me this one is perfect because it's neutral. Ooh, and just contour everywhere. Contour my face and get it nice and right. <music> then on top of that, I get my bronzer. This is from Fenty Beauty. And I bronze my face as well. Because girl, you can't be looking, you know, pale faced in these screeps. No ma'am. Give me that Rihanna glow, okay? Give me that Rihanna do, that little, you know? That island glow, that island melanin I love. And then to cut out my cheekbones, I'm gonna take a little bit of powder and just do just like that. And I'm taking the darker yellow powder. This is from Sasha Buttercup. The base is done. Now it's time to work on the eye area. So I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel. And this is in, is this Auburn? Yeah, this is in Auburn. And I like to take this one because my hair is red right now. And right now, because y'all know I be changing my hair color like every five months for real. So I am going to go ahead and create my brow and I'm just going to play some music behind it and speed this little process up because look at I need to wash my hair because this is not it. I'm supposed to have my scarf on right now while I do my makeup but you know that don't look good for the video like I want to give Vogue a little bit you know. <music> just blows me so much like why maybe that made it look better not really though but okay so now I'm going to take some of my blush this is from Laura Mercier Laura Mercier Laura should be getting me together and I'm just going to pop this on my cheeks I like to take it back into my contour because it gives me a higher cheekbone so I'm just doing that like oh that just looks so I remember when I didn't like blush, now it's my thing. Like, who am I? That's just so crazy to me because I really did not like blush. It was just like, oh my gosh, blush is, blush is such a old people thing, but it's really not. So now what I'm going to do is take, this is Tiki Hut. This is a really good shadow. Um, This is from Makeup Geek. I don't even know if Makeup Geek is still around because I've had this shadow for years. It's a perfect transition shade. So I just pop this as my transition shade, but I first pack it on here first on the outer part of my lid. I pretty much contour my eyes um, when I do my soft glam look. So I just bring it up into that fold right there. Then I take a little bit and put it under my eye as well, right on the outer part of my eye. I don't bring it in all the way. I just put it right here and stop it like halfway. I'm gonna 
take the slightest bit of some of this Fenty Beauty concealer and I'm gonna carve out my crease. And then take a little bit of my Sasha Buttercup set of set. Wow. Take a little bit of my Sasha Buttercup setting powder just to set the concealer into place. And then take some more of Tiki Hut. And this is going to bring the little eye look together because you're going to blend out that harsh line right there. Now I just want to curl my lashes before I put on my mascara and my false lashes. I feel like this just helps to blend it in a little bit more than when I just put on the mascara. And I feel like, ooh. And I feel like it lifts my lashes up, like the false lashes, makes them lifty. Then now I'm just adding my favorite lashes at the moment. Of course, I have to add some mascara to my bottom lashes. So I usually use the, I'm gonna use this one first and then I'm gonna use the Balm Mascara. That's how I really get my lashes on the bottom to be so long and voluminous is by using two mascaras on the bottom. Okay, so now I'm taking the Balm Mascara. This one looks like this. So I like that because I just wiggle it and it pulls out my lashes even more. And then I do it this way to separate the lashes. I don't really like to highlight, highlight, like blind people, but I wanna blind them, but not blind them. Like you freaking see a huge streak run across my face. I want it to be more like a glow from within than, yeah, she got highlight on. This is the Laura Mercier um, Illuminator. And this is really bomb. All right, let me wipe off. Wipe this gloss off, and then I'm gonna apply my go-to gloss. I love doing this little lip combination. So this is the MAC Cork Lip Liner, and then I put on the MAC Myth Lips Glass, Lip Glass, and that is my lip. I love that look. <laughs> oh yes okay and then to complete this look this is the makeup revolution um hyaluronic fix hydrating and plumping setting spray and this is what's going to bring back the dewy look and the natural skin like look to my face all right you guys so that is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful helpful and hopefully inspiring if you guys like soft glam looks let me know in the comment section below because i like soft glam looks so maybe that would just be like the thing I do this year because I mean I want to play in color but then I don't want to play in color at the same time so let me know what you're more into if you're more into the soft glam or if you're into like glam glam and also if you are not subscribed to my channel and a part of the gang definitely go ahead and subscribe down below turn your post notifications on so you can always know when I upload a video also follow me on instagram at naturally.sunny I'm always 
always on Instagram. Um, and yeah, that is it. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video.